Hi everybody, this is the Super Tech Channel and today I'm just making a little demo video accompanying a blog post to a little project I've done. I'd like to call this the uh, Pi Scanner because it uses the Raspberry Pi and a few ATtinies which you can see right here to use a PIR motion detector which I got off of SparkFun in a webcam to take a picture of something of an object that is moving in front of the motion detector. So basically, motion gets sensed and a picture gets taken. So to go over the stuff, this is the Raspberry Pi's GPIO output, which I've used an IDE cable from an old computer to break out. The actual Raspberry Pi itself is back there. You can't, you probably can't see it, but you can see the IDE cable coming through over there. And um, the USB cable from the webcam is connected to the Raspberry Pi. So let's open up this box. So what we have in here is, this is the motion detector circuitry, which is fed through a little hole coming out of there. And this is the webcam's circuit board. It's not focusing. There we go. And um, as you can see, I've snipped, let's see if I can get that to focus, I've snipped the power cable from the webcam because this is not at all supported by Linux. This is a no-name brand webcam and I can get it to take a picture but it only takes the first picture like once it gets turned on it will only take one picture and then the software will hang I think it's something to do with this button right here but um anyways so what I did is basically this basically I broke out the power connector I snipped the there I snipped the USB power and broke it out to over here, which you can see comes out the back of the box, a small white wire over here to the AT Tiny, one of the AT Tinies, and this AT Tiny is running at 5 volts, so it can power the webcam for that first picture. And so when motion is detected, it a signal is sent from this AT Tiny to the Raspberry Pi, and then a um, signal sent from the Raspberry Pi to the 5 volt AT Tiny which then powers the camera, takes a picture, and moves it to a flash drive which I have connected to the Raspberry Pi just on the hub. So let me close this back up and show you how it work and show you it working. So this has been um, a really cool project because I learned a lot about like Linux stuff and Python stuff but and uh, programming AT Tinies which I used a uh, Arduino Uno as the programmer for that just the uh, high low tech thing that MIT has so I just follow that guide and got it to work great so here we go um, see it says motion detected this is genie this is a remote desktop view oh yeah so it runs the command and then it stops the capture and saves it to this location the out 16 which is on the flash drive and um, that's pretty much it I will attach to, in the description of this video, I will attach a blog post. The reason it's oh yeah, the reason it's getting taking tons of pictures right now is because I'm moving around a lot shooting this. And um, but uh, attached in the description will be a link to a blog post, and um, you can comment there, comment here, asking questions. All the source is going to be on the blog if you want to use that. And um, thank you for watching. If you like this, just show support helps me out a lot. Um, goodbye.